heat capacity of an assembly of harmonic oscillators. Consider an assembly of capital N weakly interacting simple harmonic oscillators at an absolute temperature T. Such an assembly of oscillators provides an approximate model for the atoms in a solid. Suppose that the classical angular frequency of oscillation of uh, each oscillator is omega. Use the result for the mean energy calculated in problem 4.22 to find the heat capacity with all the external parameter fixed of this assembly of oscillators. So I want to recall from uh, problem 4.22 so let me uh, just sketch what we did in problem 4.22. We have energy levels of the harmonic oscillator given by n plus 1 half h bar omega, where n is the quantum number that starts from 0, 1, 2, etc. And we have written the partition function of this, sum over n e to the minus uh, beta e n. And uh, then we have calculated the mean energy of the system by taking the derivative of natural logarithm of z with respect to beta, where beta is, uh, was defined as 1 over kT, Boltzmann constant times absolute temperature. And what we found in problem 4.22 was that the mean energy of a harmonic oscillator was given by h bar omega uh, 1 over 2 plus 1 over e to the h bar omega over kt minus 1. So this was our result. But now here we have capital N such oscillators. So this would be multiplied by capital N to get the total energy of the system. So what I have to do in this problem is to calculate the heat capacity. So that I can do by taking the derivative of the mean energy of the system with respect to temperature with all external parameters fixed. So this is uh, capital N h bar omega. Uh, the derivative of one half will give me zero, so the derivative with respect to temperature of the uh, e to the h bar omega over kT minus one to the power minus one. So this derivative will give me a minus capital N h bar omega e to the h bar omega over kT minus one to the power minus 2, then I can take the derivative of exponential h bar omega over kT with respect to temperature, which will give me a, a minus h bar omega over kT squared multiplied by exponential h bar omega divided by kT. So I have one minus sign here, one minus sign here, so they're going to become a plus. So the heat capacity then uh, I can write as uh, capital N. So you see I, I would get h bar omega square. So uh, I can uh, multiply this by uh, k and divide it by k. So make this a k square. So then this would become capital N k. Um, h bar omega over kt squared and then on top I have e to the h bar omega over kt and at the bottom I have a parenthesis squared of e to the h bar omega over kt minus 1. So this would be the heat capacity of capital N weakly interacting harmonic oscillators. That's the answer I'm looking for. Now part B and part C are, uh, part B is asking me to sketch the uh, C as a function of T and also part C is asking me the limit, uh, what happens to the heat capacity as kT is much greater than h bar omega. 
So uh, let me start with part C first because it will be easier to sketch it uh, when I know these limits. So part C uh, asks me what happens as uh, t goes to infinity. So if t goes to infinity here, um, my beta factor uh, will be going to zero. So uh, I can see that for kt much greater than uh, h bar omega, I have, uh, I'm encountering an e to the x uh, where x is uh, much less than 1. So uh, in this limit, the first order approximation is to make it uh, equal to e to 0, which is 1. So what will happen to heat capacity? Heat capacity will go as capital N K H bar omega over KT square. And then the exponential uh, beta uh, h bar omega will become 1. So it, it will be e to the 0. And here at the bottom I have, uh, I would get 1 minus 1, which is, uh, so I would get a 1 over 0 uncertainty here. So I'm going to use the following approximation using Taylor's expansion. e to the x is 1 plus x. So uh, e to the h bar omega over kt is can be written approximately as to the second order, 1 plus h bar omega over kt, and then I have minus 1 squared, so these two would uh, cancel. And as you can see, I have h bar omega over kt squared, both at the top and at the bottom, so these would cancel, and I would find that the heat capacity uh, is equal to capital N times k for kt much greater than h bar omega. So that's the answer I find in part C. Now uh, in part B, in order to sketch this function, uh, I, I want to know also what happens as t goes to zero. So if I define alpha as h bar omega over kt, when t goes to zero, so let's let's look at this alpha, alpha is going to go to infinity. So for the heat capacity I have capital N K H bar omega divided by KT uh, squared. Uh, now I have on top E to the H bar omega over uh, KT and at the bottom this E to the H bar omega over KT would be much greater than a 1. So uh, here this would be e to the 2 h bar omega over kt. So uh, this can be written as uh, an capital N k because I have defined h bar omega over kt as alpha. Alpha square e to the minus alpha. So uh, what is the limit as alpha goes to infinity, alpha square e to the minus alpha, this is the limit as alpha goes to infinity, alpha square divided by e to the alpha, we have an infinite over infinite uh, limit here, so we can use L'Hopital's uh, rule, and this will give me the limit as alpha goes to infinity, 2 alpha divided by e to the alpha, which is also infinite over infinite. We can use it one more time. Alpha goes to infinity, 2 divided by e to the alpha, which is now 1 over infinite, so that is 0. So I can see that as t goes to 0, the heat capacity goes to uh, 0. So uh, I have two limits. One is that uh, it is uh, approaching a constant value capital N K at high temperatures and the other limit where temperature goes to zero, the heat capacity goes to uh, zero. So uh, the, and it's going to zero as the exponential because this is the term uh, that uh, basically 
uh, dominates the behavior. So if I plot heat capacity as a function of temperature for an assembly of capital N weakly interacting harmonic oscillators, uh, at the high temperature limit, I have uh, capital N times K. So this is the high temperature limit and the low temperature limit is zero and uh, it's going to when it approaches zero it's decreasing exponentially uh, uh, to the value zero here so it's going to be uh, doing this so um, here at this part I have a decrease which is e to the uh, minus h bar omega over kt dependence so t goes to zero this is going to uh, e to the minus infinity which is uh, zero so this should be the dependence and at high temperatures I have a limit capital N k as you can see here um, for this assembly of harmonic oscillators okay so we looked at the uh, average energy of a harmonic oscillator in problem 4.22 which we found using the energy levels of the harmonic oscillator n plus one half h bar omega where n is an integer between zero and infinity and we have written the partition function take the derivative of l and z with respect to beta and add a minus sign to get the mean energy of the system which is uh, h bar omega times one half plus 1 over e to the h bar omega over kt minus 1. However, we have to multiply it by capital N here for capital N oscillators. So that will be the total energy. Then we take a derivative with respect to temperature with constant external parameters. And we found the expression uh, that I have in part A. And then we looked at two limits. As t goes to infinity, uh, I can see that this is going to go to a constant capital N K and as T goes to zero it goes to zero and it goes as uh, e to the minus alpha which is e to the minus h bar omega over KT so now I'm ready to sketch this function it's uh, it varies between zero and capital N K and uh, when it's approaching temperature approaches zero it decreases exponentially uh, to the value zero.